Okay. Um, well, first of all, if you could please state your name and where you're from. Okay. My name is Dudley Edmondson, and I am from Duluth, Minnesota. And Dudley, um, you're one of the stars here at the event we're having here in McAllen. Can you talk a little bit, please, about what you do? Uh, well, I do a lot of things. I do media primarily. I'm an author, a uh, videographer, a photographer, and I focus a lot on conservation, youth, and people of color in the, uh, the different things that I tend to, to cover. So I do a journalism piece that may have one of those uh, components in it. And how did you get interested in, in that? Well, as a young uh, kid, I really got into nature uh, because I had some issues in the family home with, a, with a, a, an alcoholic parent and, and nature became sort of my refuge and my way of uh, dealing with that situation. And so uh, I found that when I went into the out of doors, uh, I was able to sort of mend some of the scars, whatever you want to call it, the trauma related to having uh, those kinds of interactions with, with that parent and in, in the family home. And so I decided at that point that nature had to be a full-time part of my life. Was there a, a person who kind of helped you along, kind of mentored you during those early, those early years? Uh, not early on. Uh, I kind of just sort of did it on my own after I was able to uh, drive around and explore. I mean, I was, I've been a bird watcher since 1980. I guess I will say my art teacher uh, back then, a gentleman named Charles Gamble back in Columbus, Ohio, uh, was my high school art teacher, and he got me into bird watching. Uh, but I was into nature observation and nature study long before that, so bird watching just became something else that I sort of added to my skill set. So do you uh, travel all over the country, all over the world? I travel all over the country, um, mostly as, uh, these days as a public speaker. Uh, I travel, I uh, present uh, maybe for a fish and wildlife uh, event, a National Park Service thing. Uh, just uh, last week I was in Sacramento, California speaking to a group of Latino youth uh, and the event was uh, put together by the Bureau of Land Management and the uh, U.S. Forest Service and we're basically talking about careers in conservation and, and letting uh, Latino youth know that there, there's a career path there. So, What's your what's the favorite part of, of what you do? Uh, I think sort of just being a person of color who's passionate about nature and hopefully inspiring someone else who uh, that looks like me to, to get in the outer door. So I suppose that being uh, an inspiration to people, I would say, is probably my favorite mm. part of what I do. So speaking of that, what kind of advice do you have for, um, well, people of any age, I was going to say young people, but people of any age who'd be interested, uh, especially people of color, who'd be interested in uh, doing something having to do with nature or photography and or uh, conservation? Well, I would say uh, perhaps just sort of sticking with it. I think it's sometimes for people of color finding role models in their community is, is a challenge. And I would say that if you really are passionate about nature and the environment, sort of just stick with it and learn as much as you can from whoever you can come in contact with. If it's a, a school teacher, uh, maybe a, a college professor, uh, maybe a neighbor or someone, but the main thing is to stick with it because that's what I did. As a, as a young person, I didn't have any role models or mentors and I found myself oftentimes sort of uh, teased a lot because I was passionate about nature. And you know, now it's become a career path for me. So in, in many ways I, I have gotten the last laugh. Uh, but it's, I would say the main thing is just to, you know, stick with it and things that you're interested in, if it's birds, butterflies, whatever, wildflowers, uh, you know, eventually it will turn into something, you will become an expert at it really, and, and your skill sets will be, be sought after by who knows who. So uh, I would say stick with it for sure. Okay. Is there anything else you'd like to add that I haven't asked you? Um, not that I can think of. No. 
Okay. All righty. Well, thank you so much. We really appreciate you uh, being here, McAllen, and uh, it's, it's a pleasure to get to know you. Thank oh. you so much for everything. Thank you for having me.